I'm so glad you're here with me today. Together, we've been on this journey toward better kidney health, and what I want to share with you now feels truly important. In this video, I'm going to talk about something that might sound almost unbelievable, the possibility of actually stopping the progression of kidney disease, even in stages 4 and 5, before dialysis. There's a therapy called VLPD treatment very low protein diet that hardly anyone in the US is ever told about. Yet in places where it is used, the results have been remarkable. It's backed by medical research, and it can actually help lower creatinine levels. And here's the amazing part, this isn't some experimental new drug it's a therapy already in practice, especially in parts of Europe. I've never made a video like this before, because honestly, this could be a game changer for so many of you watching right now. If you're in stage 4 or 5, this may be exactly the hope you've been searching for. The Standard CKD Therapy Alright, let's dive right in. Here's the reality, in the US, the so-called standard therapy for chronic kidney disease often amounts to, well, nothing at all. Many patients are told not to worry when their GFR is around 60. No diet. No real treatment. And what are they waiting for? For their kidney health to get worse. Most doctors don't take action until GFR drops closer to 30 stage 4 when the kidneys are already badly damaged. At that point, the focus often shifts to preparing for dialysis as quickly as possible. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you already know how I feel about this. And I'll be honest with you, telling someone to just wait while their kidneys slowly die, is the same as giving up on them. I say this with full respect for doctors and nephrologists, but if there's a way to slow down, or even stop, that progression why wouldn't we fight for it? You deserve more than just waiting. You deserve a chance to protect your kidneys and give them every bit of strength possible. And if someone tells you otherwise, I can promise you this, your health is not their priority. So let's look at a different path together. The VLPD treatment. This is where something called the VLPD treatment comes in. It combines two key elements a special diet and supplementation with something called keto analogs. Don't worry this has nothing to do with the trendy keto diet. Keto analogs are a unique form of amino acids designed specifically for people with kidney disease. I'll explain more about them in just a moment. But let's start with the first part, the very low protein diet. You've heard me talk before about how a low-protein diet can slow down kidney damage, even in stage 3. Well, the VLPD takes this to another level. It's designed especially for people in stages 4 and 5, before dialysis. And here's the powerful truth, reducing protein to a very low level, when done correctly, can make a huge difference. It's not a small adjustment, it's a real game changer for your kidneys. Why the VLPD treatment works? You've probably heard it said that 60% of the human body is made of water. But here's what they don't usually tell you, once you take that water away, most of what's left is protein. Your muscles, your skin, your organs, even your tissues, almost everything in your body is built from protein. Protein itself is made of tiny building blocks called amino acids. Think of protein as a wall of Lego bricks. Your body can't use the wall as it is it needs to break it down into those smaller Lego pieces, the amino acids, before it can use them to repair and rebuild. But here's the catch. Every time your body breaks down protein, it produces waste mostly nitrogen waste. And clearing this waste from the blood is one of the toughest jobs your kidneys have. If the kidneys are already struggling, all that extra nitrogen becomes toxic, pushing kidney disease forward even faster. 
That's why lowering protein intake, especially with a plant-based diet, has been proven to help slow down the damage. And when protein is reduced even further, with a very low-protein diet, VLPD, the results can be life-changing. Does the VLPD really work in stages 4 and 5? Let's get to the heart of the question. Does this diet actually work for advanced kidney disease? The best way to answer is to look at the science. In 2018, a Cochrane review one of the most trusted forms of medical research looked at 17 studies with nearly 3,000 people. The conclusion was clear. People with stages 4 and 5 CKD who followed a VLPD had a significantly lower risk of progressing to dialysis. That's nearly 3,000 lives studied, and the results were consistent. And it doesn't stop there. In 2017, Dr. Gang Lee Ko published a review that outlined eight specific benefits of the VLPD, including lower proteinuria, a major sign of kidney damage. Fewer uremic toxins, the real culprits behind so many kidney disease symptoms. Reduced oxidative stress and inflammation. Less metabolic acidosis. Lower phosphorus levels critical for protecting bone health. Better insulin sensitivity. Lower blood pressure. A slower decline of GFR. Put simply, by reducing protein intake carefully and strategically, this therapy can buy you precious time delaying dialysis and protecting your kidneys. And remember, this isn't just my opinion. These are findings from respected doctors, published in peer-reviewed journals. How to use the VLPD I know what you're probably thinking right now, this sounds promising, but how on earth do I actually follow this diet? Don't worry I've got you. Let's break it down together in a way that makes sense. When we talk about protein restriction, there are basically three levels. Very low protein diets, VLPD about 20 grams of protein per day, or 0.3 to 0.5 grams per kilogram of body weight. This is considered extreme and always requires keto analog supplements. More on that in just a minute. Low protein diets, around 40 grams per day, or 0.6 to 0.8 grams per kilogram. This one's a lot more manageable, and some of you might already be doing something like this. Plant-based, vegetarian, or vegan diets, these also naturally limit protein, and many people use them as part of kidney care. Now, here's the key. On a low-protein diet, about 40 grams slash day, you can still enjoy a little meat, fish, or eggs. But on a VLPD, 20 grams slash day, even one small chicken breast just the size of your palm would already put you over the limit. That's how strict it is. And remember, protein doesn't only come from obvious sources like steak or eggs. Even foods like bread, rice, and oatmeal contain some protein. That's what makes this diet so challenging it sneaks in from places you might not expect. So what does a day on the VLPD actually look like? Here's a simple example. Breakfast, applesauce, flax meal, low-protein toast with cream cheese, plus a scoop of keto analog supplement in water. Lunch, a fresh salad with vinegar and oil, some low-protein crackers, and another scoop of the supplement. Dinner, a warm bowl of vegetable chili with no salt corn chips, some pineapple for sweetness, and yes another scoop of the supplement. As you can see, there's barely any protein here. And that's the point. The diet works because it gives your kidneys a break from all that nitrogen waste we talked about earlier. But here's the truth, the VLPD is not easy. It takes real commitment, support, and the proper use of keto analogs to make sure you don't slip into malnutrition. It's not about just skipping your favorite steak, it's about completely rethinking the way you eat. And yet, with all of that said, it is doable. 
more importantly it works. It has been proven to delay dialysis and protect your kidneys. And for many people in stage 4 or 5, that hope is worth every ounce of effort. Why is VLPD rarely used in the US? Now, I can almost hear the question in your mind, if this very low protein diet works so well, why hasn't my nephrologist ever mentioned it? Why isn't it standard practice here in the US? It's a fair question and the truth is, the VLPD combined with keto analogs really can slow down, even stop, the progression of kidney disease in stages 4 and 5. But despite that, it's still rarely prescribed in America. Let me share the three main reasons why. Lack of familiarity. Most nephrologists here simply aren't trained in how to prescribe and manage the VLPD with keto analogs. If they don't know the method, they can't apply it. Teamwork is required. To follow this diet properly, you really need a renal dietitian to create a plan that tracks every single gram of protein you eat. And sadly, renal dietitians are not easy to find. It should be a team effort, doctor and dietitian together, but in many places, that support just isn't available yet. Fear of malnutrition. Because the diet is so restrictive, many doctors worry about patients not getting enough nutrition. And while that's a valid concern, the whole purpose of keto analogs is to make sure the body still gets the building blocks it needs without burdening the kidneys. So, yes, protein is like a double edged sword. You need it to live, but too much of it can push your kidneys further into damage. Managing that balance is tricky, but not impossible. What are keto analogs? This is where keto analogs come in, and they're kind of amazing. Think of it this way, normally, when you eat protein, your body has to break it down into amino acids. That process creates nitrogen waste, which your kidneys then struggle to clear. But keto analogs are like a shortcut. They're special forms of amino acids without the nitrogen. That means your body still gets the nutrition it needs the Lego blocks, if you remember that analogy, without creating the waste that hurts your kidneys. They don't look like food you'll find them in supplement form, either powders or tablets. Two of the main brands are Ketorina and Ketosterol. They're very different from the amino acid powders bodybuilders use you won't see these sitting on a regular store shelf. What really matters is this, if you're on a very low protein diet, keto analogs are absolutely essential. They keep you nourished, safe, and able to benefit fully from the therapy. So here's the bottom line, the combination of the VLPD and keto analogs isn't just theory. It's real, it's backed by evidence, and for many people, it could mean delaying or even avoiding dialysis. I truly hope that as more awareness grows, this treatment will become more available here in the US, so patients won't have to miss out on such a powerful option. Now, I'd love to hear from you, had you ever heard about the VLPD and keto analogs before today? Drop me a comment below we can learn so much from sharing our experiences. And as always, please keep taking gentle care of your kidneys and of yourself. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.